Good day and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob and I'm really thrilled that you joined me. Thank you. Yesterday we asked you to make a distinction between when your body and brain's survival center is resilient. And we talked about how it, when it's resilient, it's in the hands of the CEO. Uh, the technical, uh, more technical language for that is the executive mode. We also talked about it as the resting brain. All of these are synonyms for being in a place that really does give us a buffer against life stressors. So that was on the one hand. Can you distinguish between that on the one hand and on the other hand, when that very same survival center in the body and brain uh, moves into distress? And, and as we talked about yesterday, this is when we're likely to relapse. We call this the red alert default mode. Now I've asked you also to identify what kinds of addictive behaviors tend to get activated for you once the red alert mode is in charge. Notice that I put it in the affirmative. There's no question that with this is when we move into addictive behaviors to cope. We really look at our coping mechanisms as what we're coping with are threats to our well-being. When the red alert uh, mode is activated, that's when, that's when those come on. And for many of us, especially those of us that have experienced with severe addiction, we have unhealthy coping mechanisms, but the, the mechanisms are there to, to uh, cope with something and it's to cope with threat. So I'm interested to see what you found. You know, speaking of addiction, I, you know, we've talked about it here before, the Latin root uh, of the word, uh, the uh, English word addiction, the Latin root is simply the word addictus, which uh, simply meant slave uh, to the ancient Romans. And when we're trapped in this red alert mode, that is where we lose our creativity, lose our resilience, lose our options. Um, uh, you know, when we feel a serious threat uh, uh, to our physical or emotional well-being, I really do think that we're at the mercy of, uh, of, uh, of, enslaved, of being enslaved to what we talked about earlier, the relapse time bomb. Uh, there's a sense of not having any choice. We're just hearing it ticking louder and louder and louder. I suspect you know what I mean. You know, on the other hand, when we're able to center our bodies and our minds in the resting mode, this is where our emotional or physical survival is not directly in jeopardy. We experience here increased resilience, uh, even when things are stressful, even when we're facing stress, we can actually be resilient. And as I mentioned a moment ago, uh, remain creative in terms of problem solving. I think this is gen genuine freedom. If addiction is enslavement, then what we're talking about here in the resting mode is true freedom. What if I told you that there are skills that, that you and I can learn, tools that we can practice applying, get good at them, that even when we're faced with challenges and stressors, um, that uh, we can still learn how to move from that kind of knee-jerk, red alert mode into a creative, resilient, resting mode in our bodies and brains. What if I told you that there, these are skills that we can learn? Well, there are. <laughs> that we can build this capacity for resilience. We don't have to wait for it to hit us. We can move towards it. And uh, one of the beautiful things about this is that this is, this is how we learn how to prevent relapses by developing in its place resilience. I hope you're interested. <laughs> for today, what I'd like to ask you to do is make a list of two or three skills or tools you may already have in your arsenal, things that you've employed uh, in the service of managing your stress in the past. I'd like you to reflect about this and write it down ideally. How have these uh, two or three skills or tools, how have they been helpful to you in, in decreasing your vulnerability to relapse? Why don't you reflect on that for a moment? And then let me also ask you to uh, ask yourself this question. When has stress perhaps overwhelmed uh, even these skills, even these resources, uh, including times uh, in which you have relapsed? It'll be valuable to look at that as well. Let's just see what you find, okay? Uh, in, in the meantime, I want to wish you uh, safety and well-being. I want to thank you again for spending 
uh, part of your valuable day with me here at the Vitality Project. I look forward to seeing you hopefully tomorrow. Come back and join me, okay? Thanks again.